Hi class, I wanted to make a little video showing you how to fill in these um, predicted incomes here uh, with basically typing in one formula and then using autofill for the rest. Uh, if I click on these cells here, I can see that, um, you know, there's no absolute references here. And so if I just try to use autofill on this guy, um, the formulas will not work out the way you expect them to do. All right. So that means whoever made this sheet had to go in and by hand change all these formulas one at a time. And that's really not what we want to be doing. We want to do this. Um, so here I want to type equals, and then I want my slope times uh, x plus uh, the intercept, just like that. So that, that is just like the formula that was there. Uh, but now I want to put in the little dollar signs to make these absolute references. <clears throat> that means when I copy this down, let I let Excel autofill, these guys here will just uh, stay B27 and B28, and this D16 will change to D17, D18, right? So it'll, it'll do what it's supposed to do there. Okay, so enter. Um, th this is already formatted correctly. Let me just pretend it wasn't for, real quick. Okay, suppose that's what it gave me, right? Then I would come up here and I would click currency. I like currency better than the accounting, personally. Uh, and then we want to get rid of these two decimal places because in this sheet, you're asked to give this with no decimal places. Uh, and then I can either just take that and drag it down, and I've got that like that, or I can double click on that little box, and I've got it. Actually, I'll show you a few ways. Um, or I can right click and copy, and I can highlight this whole section and just do Control V or paste, right? And it'll do it. Anyway, there's lots and lots of ways of doing that, but Excel fills all that out for me, right? I type that one formula, and Excel does the rest of the work for me. That's the way you want to do the sheet.